Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, this time I've prepared for you an analysis of one of my personal favorite attacks from the Open Guard. And Mia Brothers are, are, where, are the inspiration where I took it first from uh, a few years ago. And I've prepared a couple of clips for you showing that attack. Uh, one of the clips is Paula Mia facing uh, Rubens Cobrinha in the ADCC 2017. And the other one is just from the past weekend where uh, Joao faced Ashley Williams. And the, the attack has probably uh, many names as uh, there's quite a few top, uh, uh, top guys who play a lot of guard do it. I, I like to call it the pair trap. Uh, the, the Norwegian guys, uh, the Tommy Langacker and Espen Mathiesen, uh, they call it uh, enter the matrix. And uh, they, they all, uh, all of these attacks basically start from the same motion. And that's what I'm going to break down, just the entry. I'm not gonna go all over all the finishes to it. But um, there's so many variations that you could finish that uh, that uh, position with, uh, also depending whether it is with the gi or whether it's with the no gi. Um, would you like to do leg locks, take the back, and so forth. Um, but okay, let's look at it. Uh, let's look at the clips. Um in a little bit of a slow-mo speed so you so see what's happening so it's basically uh, uh where where from the bottom from the guard you're gonna try to attack the leg uh, leg of the guard passer okay so those were the clips let's break them down a little bit so what's the idea here um the idea is is to attack the leg and quite often when you're in the open guard when you're attacking from the it doesn't even have to be open guard you could be in close guard as well or or any other variation of the guard but the, one of the main ideas when you attack in the in the guard is that you should you should be uh, ready to attack either the lower body or the upper body and there are there are attacks for both of them uh, there's variety of attacks that you could you could try to do and and that really depends on your own personal preference uh, but if one of the other is defended, say you attack the, the upper body, you try to do an omoplata or you try to shoot for a triangle, an arm bar, when, when uh, they are defended, and most likely they are defended in a way that the guy uh, postures up, he brings himself away from, the, away from the threat, so if your upper body is threatened, it's too low there, the legs are close um to your neck area to your arms so you bring your shoulder area, you bring your posture up and you remove that threat but then the legs are left sort of undefended there or more uh, open and that's why that's when you you would switch to a lower body attack and it also happens vice versa so if the lower body is attacked you could try to sprawl the leg maybe backwards or you come lower to pace yourself on those legs and uh, in that way you defend the lower body attack but then because you are now lower yourself your upper body is lower you could switch to the upper body attacks and it's one of the core principles in in jiu-jitsu and not just in, in in open guard attacks but anything really whether whether you're attacking from any other position or even when you're doing escapes sometimes you escape in one direction you start to do a certain move you you get a reaction out of it and then you switch depending on the reaction at least that's how you should be doing not trying to really force anything and, and this is one of the 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 ways to attack the lower body uh, when it's available and it all starts from uh, getting a grip underneath the uh, underneath the attacked leg so if we look in this position here this is the, basically the starting position uh, what's happening here so Polo has a grip has a grip uh, underneath that attacking leg the, the leg that is being attacked uh, and the idea is to make that leg light so you'd want it to be very light so you can wrap yourself around it and then you can maneuver into whatever finishing option that you would like to do and in order to get that leg light you have to use your own grips you'd have to clasp your hands together behind the leg uh, and you would try to apply this sort of a pressure here that you would try to turn rotate that uh, leg inwards that knee inwards so if you just think about it yourself if you try to rotate your knee inwards a little bit and then you would try to put weight on it or, or uh, turn your upper body in the opposite direction direction you would see that it's quite hard to do so that's that's how you start making the leg light with the grips but another thing is that in this attacking position you have that uh, and that's really um what uh, 
it's one of the key components of this attack is that uh, in this case Polo's right leg which you don't see uh, well from this angle but he has this hook here uh, with his right leg on the hip and his knee Polo's knee is is underneath uh, uh, Gobrinha's uh, leg there and you will use your leg especially that uh, leg uh, that, is, that is positioned in that way to push so so the grips are turning the knee inwards and your feet especially that foot here that's uh, uh, placed in that particular way will start to push outwards you will you can also use your other leg sometimes your uh, left leg in this case Paulo could use sometimes to also push off of Cabrinha to make that leg light and when you use these motions correctly you will uh, you will make the leg light so let's let's look at the grip uh, clip again I'll make it just a tad bit slower here I'll put it to half speed so he wants to make the leg light the the grip it it's it sort of becomes like a like a crowbar there uh, uh, Polo's right arm is like a crowbar in between that uh, in the in behind the kneecap here so it makes for Cabrinha really hard to rotate towards Polo and try to put weight on that leg it's it's quite hard to do and also it's it's hard to see from this angle here or uh, the the knee uh, Polo's right leg here it's the knee he's behind the thigh here and it's using that leg to also push push Cabrinha away from that leg so again you do this together you create this motion where the leg lightens up Cabrinha still trying to come down there to try to uh, put weight on his leg but Polo just uses the grip and starts to in the end you start to pry that leg open to the side as well so that's another key key moment here so you started from the kneecap but you'll quite often uh, shift the uh, grip towards the uh, ankle here grips towards the ankle here it's just so you can pry that open to the side again making it very hard to to put weight on that leg and once you're able to lighten the leg up you will bring your free leg over that left leg right now it you, you will most likely use it to uh, get it behind the kneecap there we'll see it in, in this second clip more clearly so so then you get that tack going. It's not a finish to the act. We don't. We're not looking at this right now. We're just looking at how do you enter the bear trap position, and how how does it start? So the second clip is uh, Shoah doing the same thing um, in the the previous Kazai, which was just last weekend. This is against Ashley Williams. Again, you see that uh, uh, clasping behind the knee here. Let's look at the clip a couple of times, and Shoah will start to pull the kneecap and then use his. Uh, left leg in this case to push Ashley off of him and and you'll see that the bo body weight uh, came off of the leg made it light and now you can see the the leg that came over the jaws right leg it came over and most often it'll shoot towards the kneecap you want it uh, to get it behind the kneecap and now you enter the bear trap again it has many many names uh, the position has many names and other, uh, other people call it other ways the main ideas to uh, to finish this situation is one you would like to take the back to take the back there are also many many variations uh, one of them is to try to I get this uh, in this case it would be the right leg if you'd like to release the hook here and try to bring the knee from between Ashley's legs here if you could Paula could do that uh, sorry Joao could do that bring his knee in, from between Ashley's legs and then he would have this sort of like uh, grab right hooks in both kneecaps and you could try to take the back that way if you watch the end of the matrix by uh, the the Norwegians you would see that they keep the hook there they rather release the left leg here but they have the pant grip so they can they can uh, they do it mostly in in the geese so if you have a pant grip here you could let the legs even mu much more loose and try to maneuver them into the grab right situations because of the grip you're able to hang on and still stay in stay into the position um yeah I tried to keep it short and sweet so this was just uh, one clip I tried to make uh, a bit smaller videos uh, not to get too long and um, and I hope you liked it let's just look at the the entire clip one more time it's one of my all-time personal favorite attacks I, I quite often uh, do it and I teach it in seminars and I keep uh, developing uh, sequences from that but basically leg is there you get the grip behind the leg you lighten the leg using various uh, motions and, and, and details to do it 
Once you lighten the leg, you wrap yourself around the leg. Quite often you shoot uh, exactly to bring that, that ankle over to the other side and the left leg would go behind the kneecap and then you've entered the position. So this is Paolo doing this to Gubrinha. Uh, he wasn't able to finish that. It's, it's, it's uh, uh, harder to actually get something uh, in nogi because you don't have that band grip. But still it's, it's quite often attacked and you do get quite a lot of nice attacks going from them. Again, uh, just pointing out that the leg ends up in the other side of uh, the leg that uh, Jo attacks ends up uh, near the near the ribs here. You bring it all the way over, and then you sort of have this two arms. You're sort of behind the back there. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, I hope you liked it. I tried to keep it uh, short. Uh, I hope this uh, has a better pace to it than my previous videos. Um, you can leave me feedback, what uh, did you like, what you did not like. I also made one, of, uh, one video where I, uh, without any commentary, and I just left, uh, I just left uh, clips there when I analyzed the uh, Levi Jones-Leary video against uh, Luke Slepery. Um, you, you, you're most of, more than welcome to leave me feedback uh, as I try to find uh, a good format to eventually end up doing them. But I, I do like this talking a bit more because it's just that much easier for me rather than to do a lot of editing with the video. I just put the clip on and I talk and, and boom, that's over with. Again, uh, I thank you for watching and I see you soon.